We have a great video from MVN Kind. Feminist chooses female workers over men and instantly regrets it. You did your bathroom painted and the app was like, Oh my God. <laughs> Would you like to hire a female to do this job? And you're like, I would. Hey, that's a really good idea. And she showed up with one paintbrush and no paint. I mean, what a bombshell. Who saw that coming? I pretty much paid her like $700 to prime my bathroom. Oh, wait, I remember. Remember, that. she brought yes. one paintbrush. And I was like, I have a roller. She's like, oh, it's not my technique. And that shit's fucking annoying. And then you're like, get me a man in here immediately. <laughs> Preferably someone who speaks Spanish and gets it done in a day. Seriously. And he came in and did it in an hour and a half. He was like, it's good. I did three coats. You're goddamn right. We're men. That's what we do. We always hear the we could do it if we wanted to argument from women. But just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. There's nothing wrong with being realistic and admitting that men are better suited to certain things. For fuck's sakes, nine times out of ten, we all know how these experiments are going to end anyway. I can assure you, projects, major projects won't be completed. Why? Because if they feel like quitting, they'll quit. All this infrastructure that you see wouldn't have been built if that attitude you saw there, like, I quit. Everybody was just quitting. Nothing would have been built. Meanwhile, now the Estrogen Network presents Afternoon Yak. Man. Canceled. Ten toes in when we standing on business. I'm a big stepper. Underground methods. Got nachos. Get the most. Wanna see magic trick? <laughs> 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 Ta da! Excuse me, kiss up, slap. 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 He's definitely ca getting castled for JVB. <laughs> Not cool. You come with me. No. I want to fuck you and hang out. No, why are you embarrassing me? Years from now, they're going to think that's poetry. Maybe it looks crooked to me. Babe, it's not It's not crooked. It's the, the wall that... That is crooked. That is crooked by like an inch and a half. It's not crooked. Are you sure that it's not crooked? Uh, <sighs> Remember your pressure points. Do you see this bubble? Look, the bubble uh -huh. is in between, perfectly centered between the two lines. Perfectly centered. Maybe the bubble is wrong? Oh my God. Fuck! Fuck! Bubble. The bubble is not, the bubble is not wrong. The bubble is right. The bubble is right. All right. We're done here. If all the men had to do their work in front of their wives or their women, they wouldn't get anything done. Why? Because their women will continue disturbing, continue talking to them about whether it's crooked or not crooked. Imagine what wouldn't have been built if everybody had to work under that those conditions. I love it when they try to micromanage you, but they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. But I honestly don't want to say anything bad about this because it does seem like they have a healthy relationship. It's just that bro has dealt with this shit before. He's built up uh, Olympic level patience here. But you can definitely feel him fighting the urge to have to explain basic physics. The bubble is not <laughs> wrong, fellas. The bubble is right. Oh no. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> now, if that retro transformer sound effect didn't crack you up, you are made of fucking stone. It gets me every time. But look, uh, just a quick reminder if you're enjoying the video, please don't forget to like, comment, share, ring the bell, all that shit. If you're new here, hope you consider subscribing. I appreciate you taking the time. Let's get right back into it. So, if I was running the air conditioner and it's cold, how did that burn up? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just don't make the air cold or hot. It turns the blower motor. Why wasn't the cold air just blowing on it so it didn't get hot? Oh boy. We don't air conditioned wires. We air conditioned people.
So it says scientists have just announced today that dolphins are second to man in intelligence levels. But but what really got me was the response. The guy says, yeesh, <laughs> women in third place now. <laughs> Bro. Really? Being a mother is the most difficult job on the planet? Oh yeah. I thought roofing in the middle of July is a redhead. I thought that that was difficult. But these mothers are bending over at the waist, putting DVDs into DVD players. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. Like being single? Yeah. You like it, right? Yeah. You like being free? It's so free. Free. I have right? all the time in the world. Yeah. yeah. You're hurt. What if uh, <laughs> I have been cursed today with not one, but two female Uber drivers. Absolutely not. Both of them made wrong turns. They each got me there way later than the expected ETA. And I was running pretty late because I am a woman. And you know, there's a female only driver option on these apps. The idea is that so women could feel safer by having only female drivers. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. Absolutely not. If I wanna know that I will get to my destination, on time, then I want a male only driver option. I don't blame you. I needed that today. I would pay a premium. Get at me, I don't even care. You all know it's true. Now, I'm really not trying to diminish what actual victims go through, but my question is, are there so many incidences of, of women being victimized by male Uber drivers that this, you know, having a, a female only driver option is actually necessary? You'd think if that were the case that Uber would be out of business by now. And also if women can choose to have a female driver, does that mean men can choose not to have a female driver? That seems fair, right? To me, this all just sounds like fear mongering and pandering to the admittedly large percentage of the female population that buys into that fear mongering. But I was thinking it would be interesting to take the, the incidence rate of, of the male Uber drivers who victimize women and compare that to the, to the injury and, and accident statistics caused by these new female Uber drivers and see which one is statistically safer. You know, joking, not joking, of course, but I just thought it'd be an interesting comparison. I've actually seen more videos out there of uh, female passengers refusing to pay or maybe making changes to or like just being difficult to the driver and the driver now has to ask them like there are so many videos out there if you check but there are a few or maybe instances where I hear that or maybe uh, uh, a male Uber driver did that to, to, to a female passenger. Because most you find that if that can happen to a woman, it can also happen to a man. A man also can get uh, attacked or something else, you know? Show me six inches. Six inches? Well, I need it. <laughs> <laughs> After all, six inches. Yeah, yeah, put it up. God damn it. You know when, like, guy do some work, like, work, and then you see, like, the veins oh, here? Yeah. yeah, we like that, too. I think that's... Whoa. Wait, what am I doing? Wait, that's gay. Wait, hold on, yo, chip. Oh.